Succession is a show that cannot be summed up in one sentence. If I were to try, I would call it one of the most heartbreaking dramas on TV. There are others that have named it one of the decade's funniest sitcoms. And a person can fit through there. A person can definitely fit through that window. A small person, an attack child. Those who have seen the show can probably agree that both of these statements hold weight. Succession balances anxiety-inducing stakes with lines of absolute comedic genius. I ended up in a bookshop the other day and I just started laughing. Okay. However, seeing as we're in the golden age of television, this is really nothing new. The merging of comedy and drama has been going on for quite some time with shows like Better Call Saul and even the fellow HBO original Barry. The difference is, while Barry clearly takes place in a heightened reality, where events are grounded but take on a dreamlike quality, Succession has both feet planted firmly in the real world. The drama never feels far-fetched, and the comedy never undermines the story. With this in mind, I'd like to go through the masterful techniques the show uses to pull off this tonal tightrope walk. The mockumentary style of filmmaking is one that's been creatively bankrupt for quite some time. While being pioneered by Arrested Development, it was thought to be a way to make the absurd scenarios in the show feel more realistic, as the audience has a more observational perspective. We can just keep moving and keep it sort of real like it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a documentary. The multi-camera setup also forces actors to always be on their A-game, as they can never be sure when their reaction will be quickly panned to. Shows like The Office and Parks and Recreation, while funny, took advantage of this style to blatantly tell the audience what every character was thinking at all times. Due to the success of these shows, a once creative method for low-budget comedy was popularized and made mainstream so it could assist lazy writing. Upon first glance, Succession 2 utilizes the mockumentary style, with the camera constantly panning around the room to find the perfect gym face to zoom into. Luckily, and I cannot stress this enough, Succession is not a mockumentary. Instead, it returns to and modernizes Ron Howard's original idea for Arrested Development, to put the viewer in the same room as the characters. This is something that Succession needed. Shows with endearing and relatable leads like Better Call Saul can get away with more cerebral cinematography, but considering there is not one endearing character in Succession, the camera work ensures that the audience retains an intimate connection with the characters, even if they don't particularly want to. It's almost not even worth mentioning how good the cast of Succession is. This past year, Matthew McFadden won Best Supporting Actor for Season 3 of the show after going up against his own co-stars, Kieran Culkin and Nicholas Braun. Not to mention his competition of Park Hae Soo, Christopher Walken, and Billy Crudup also receiving nominations. Cherry Jones won an Emmy in 2020 for her pretty limited role in Season 2, even though the talent of Sarah Snow Brian Cox, Jay Smith, Cameron, and the rest of the cast is borderline unfathomable, there is still one actor who absolutely steals the show. Jeremy Strong is unbelievable in this show. His performance expertly manipulates the viewer exactly the way the script intends. Whether it be through his cringeworthy slang, his intense freakouts, or his subtle sadness that builds throughout the show as Kendall falls deeper and deeper into depression, Strong is giving the performance of a lifetime. He's spoken in interviews about Succession's balancing act of comedy and drama, saying, of course it's a comedy. It's a comedy, it's a satire, it's a tragedy. I'm investing in the reality of those given circumstances and treating it the way I would treat a drama, so that the stakes are real. Those real stakes come across in every single scene he is in. Don't f hey, with hey, me! Hey, hey, no! Don't it's fucking okay, touch no, him! Alan Ruck's character Connor is set up as a comedic relief side character, the wacky half-brother who doesn't quite fit in. Despite this, he still delivers a legitimately eye-opening monologue in the third season's finale. And what if I want to take over because I am the eldest son? All right. Every single cast member shines in this show. There is not one character that could be played by anyone else. 
The writing in Succession is certainly different than your ordinary drama. On its surface, it's nothing more than crude insults and swears strung together in admirably clever ways. But beneath it, there are levels of depth that can be truly unbelievable. Each character wants something. They are all extremely smart and highly motivated. Everyone is out with the intention to manipulate everyone else, which makes writing each script a daunting game of 4D chess. Showrunner Jesse Armstrong revealed that there's sometimes a temptation in the writer's room to more explicitly dive into characters' issues, but they never give in, instead opting for a much more subtle approach to character growth. In my opinion, it's this light touch the writers have that makes the show so special. The characters are all written so brilliantly that they seem like real people. There's not one instance of manufactured drama in the entire show. Characters are presented with real scenarios and act accordingly. Almost every scene is written so expertly that, ironically, nothing feels scripted at all. The tone that the writers go for is also much different than other American-made TV shows. It has a dry and awkward nature that has much more in common with classic British humor than anything else. And yet, this tone goes such a long way to craft Succession's realism. With the fourth and maybe final season coming out next year, now is the perfect time to catch up on the Roy family drama. I understand why some may have written off the show due to its admittedly bland sounding synopsis, but trust me, once this show is over, there will never be one like it again. This perfect marriage of drama and comedy could not have been pulled off without the raw talent of the cinematographers, actors, writers, and everyone else involved with the creative process. This show is truly something special, and I highly encourage you to check it out for yourself.